Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspirus. Today we're going to show you how to use a UI view picker. I'm sorry, UI picker view, so that you can pick a value into uh, from a list like this, and then you can select it, or you can change the values in your list. Okay, so here's how the app will look like after this series, after this video tutorial. You will have a picker view like this. And you can scroll it like that and you can pick a value let's say i want to pick um 15 okay and select and we know that we pick 15 and we can even change the data source into this okay so let's find out how to use this so this is let's open up the starter project of this again you can go to the link right down below and open the starter project okay so here's our starter project. Now let's explore it. The first thing you notice is the main storyboard. There's nothing special about this. There's nothing in here because um, there's uh, only two buttons. The first thing is select. The second thing is change their source. Okay, I will explain about the change their source later on and the select should be straightforward. It's picking a value from the list. Now there's nothing in the main storyboard because we want to show you how to use the picker view in code so that you will understand everything about it. Okay. So now let's learn how to use that. Will we? Okay. So let's go back to view controller. Let's open up it like that. We have a lot of space here, right? So like most of the UI view a UI controls um, daily challenges so far we will have a UI control a variable that holds that control right so here we have a UI picker view so we do var picker view this is of type UI picker view okay and of course uh, exclamation mark okay so let's actually hold command and click into this so that we can explore it now, this is a UI picker view. It inherits directly from UI view, okay? And note, note that it conforms to NS coding. It is a protocol, okay? And it conforms to UI table view data source, okay? All right. And also it conforms to, it has a data source, it has a delegate. And we will talk about those data source and those delegates later on okay and it has tons of functions methods over here all right so let's do this go back to the view controller in the view did load method i will create an instance of the ui picker view so let's do this um, in here i would do picker view equals ui picker view okay just like that and we don't have to pass in any parameter and so I would do, I want to center this. So I would do picker view dot center equals view dot center. Okay. It is a C tree point and this is also a C tree point. It is from the UI view. Okay. And the next thing is we will add this to the view. Add sub view, view dot add sub view, picker view. Okay. And let's run this, will we? All right, so here's our project, right? So we have this button, nothing working, but where is our picker view? Well, it actually is here, but it doesn't show up because we haven't do anything. We haven't populate. We do We haven't put any values into this. So the reason, so the actual, actually, the picker view, the background is clear color. So the view is white color so you didn't see anything yet okay it's yet all right so let's learn how to populate this picker view now the first thing we will need to do is we will, uh, the list it is a list so it has data in that right so this that's why it has a ui picker view data source it conforms to the ui picker view data source so i will go over this I have a comma and typed ui picker view data source all right and let's command click into this you will see that 
this is sorry this is a protocol there you go and it has two functions two methods that we'll have to implement so i will copy this one okay copy and go back and here down below here i would have a mark mark okay and ui picker view data source data source all right and these two ib action i would do a mark ib actions or actually it is target action okay okay now this one has two methods we have to implement so let's copy and paste that like that okay so the first thing is number of components in picker view the second thing is picker view picker view number of rows in components let's explain this what is com components what is rows okay so let's run this one okay so this is now this is the complete project you could download the complete project after this video tutorial if you want in the link right down below okay so what is a component a component in this one is the whole list okay this list is not the whole list but this is let's say this is a list this is a picker view and this one has one component okay and this one component has 10 rows from 0 to 9 so this is one component and this is two uh, ten rows and let me show you another one I will go back to home okay and where is let me find the clock I hope that there's a clock here no there's no a clock here all right so we're unlucky here right but if you want if you sh if you go back to the clock app and there's a timer you will see that there is two section the first one is the minute the second one is i'm sorry the first one is the hours the second one is the uh the minutes right so that list has two components and each of those has different rows okay so let's implement those ui picker view data source method will we and i will have the body the implementation like that and like this okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is i will have the data source which is just to uh, one array okay so i want to have an array of numbers from zero to nine so i will do it like this okay just like that this is the current data source why is it current data source because later on we will have a new data source and i will show you how to how are you going to update this data source with new data in it okay so let's implement this number of components in in, uh, in picker view so we'll have returned one because in this one we just have one component okay and actually to be safe i want to do something like this if picker view equals self dot picker view uh, picker view okay then i will return one else i will return zero okay else i return zero well what is this equals equals okay what is this picker view picker view this is that the parameter that the system passed in and this one is our self self dot picker view it's over here right all right so make sense okay so this one let's return 10 okay so we do if pick a view equals equals self dot pick a view and maybe we shouldn't return 10 we should reach it's a magic number right so we return current their source dot uh, count and here by default is return zero okay all right so let's run this non void wait a second so we return this let's run this 
Okay, it's a false alarm. <laughs> All right, so we haven't seen anything. Why is it? Well, the reason is we haven't specified that what is each row about, okay? And to show each, uh, in order to do that, we will have to implement the delegate. We have to, oh, I'm sorry. We have the data source, right? But we haven't show, uh, assigned that what is the data source of the picker view you know what i mean like we have this picker view okay but and we also implement those protocol methods we assign we have the self conforms to this but we haven't tell the view controller that uh the picker view that self ourself the view controller is the data source so we're going to do this um uh, picker view dot data source equals self and if you think that this is familiar, and yes, it is familiar to the UI table view, okay? It is very familiar. And this is kind of like the framework behind iOS framework, okay? And now there we go, we have our list here, okay? But uh, when you see that it, it's all the question marks. Where is our, our numbers, our pretty numbers, right? The reason is we haven't tell the bigger view that what is each row about. So in order to do that, we will have to implement the UI picker view delegate. So I will conform this one to UI picker view delegate. And it is right here, the view controller. This is a subclass of UI view controller. It conforms to UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegate. And don't forget of here we will do pick a view dot delegate equals self just like that and right down here i will do a mark um ui picker view delegate okay and what is this about it is this mark it will have a nice separation like that okay it's a nice thing to do okay <laughs> so that other person who sees your code can see it clearly, can never get it, and yourself too. Okay, so enough talking. Now let's go into this UI picker view delegate and see what we have to implement. So this is protocol UI picker view delegate, and we have this optional with um, optional row height, and I see that we have also the title for row okay and so it's, it seems like this is the thing we want to implement right we have the title for that row so what we'll do i'll copy this one just like that okay copy this one and go back into now let's use the mark ui pick of view delegate there we go and we can copy it we can paste it like that or we can do picker view okay and here you will see a title for row. Press enter, right? And I just like to do this. Okay, now, how are we going to do this? We had to return a string, which is the title for this. And we, it passed in the row. And this is actually the index of the row in the list. And, and coincidentally, by design, okay? This is also the index of our element in the data source. So simply we will return a string and interpolation. Maybe we do current data source sub what row, right? There we go. Now let's run this. Okay, so there we go. We have our list like that, okay? So now what, what's the point of having a list without e uh, allowing the user to select a value, right? So let's implement a select the value here. When I select this, maybe we can prompt to the console, just that, okay? So this pick a, a value, IB action is already attached to this select button. Um, so I would do something like um, let select row equals 
pick a view, select pick a view dot selected row in component. Well, we'll have to specify the component. And as I tell you, a, a pick a view can has multiple components. And then this, in this one, we have only one component and it is indexed from zero to one to three to two to three. Okay. And so this is zero because we only have one component. And I can do Quinlan current data source sub selected row. Okay. And it will print the value that we current. This time is correct. Current data source. Okay. And now it will print out the number that we select. So let's run this. Okay. Now I will move it like that and let's select uh, six. Select. There we go. Our very nice six. Okay. Let's select nine, three, zero. It works, right? All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to use the data source, how to change the data source. It's actually very simple. It's very much familiar, uh, similar to using a, a um, table view. Okay. So let's say I have a new data source like that, just from 10 to 11 to 19. So we can see that it is different. So in this one, the change data source, IB action function, I would do the first thing I will have to update the data source, right? So we do current data source equals new data source. Okay. And let's run this. Okay. So I will change the data source like that, but nothing happened. Well, why is it? It actually, the data source has been changed. You see that? Okay. But let's run it again. So I change, nothing happened. But as I scroll it like that, it does happen. Well, why is it? Because let's say I change it like this. And then as I scroll it, it will continuously, continuously calls for each row. It will call this, okay? And it will render, it will call this. So at that time, it will update the view. So I want it as I press the button, change their source. I want to change. I want to change the list immediately. What I can do is I will use pick a view dot reload component. Okay. And again, I have to specify the index of the component in the list. So here we have one. So I would do reload component zero and let's run this again. Okay, we can still pick number. And as I change the data source, look at look what ha will happen. There we go. It changed immediately. Okay, and now when I, I can still pick it, the number. Okay. And there's another method to reload the list, the picker view. I will comment it out like that. And we'll do picker view dot picker view dot reload all components. And I'm sorry about that. Reload all components. And this one will reload all the components of the picker view. So we're going to do it like that. Okay. And let's run it again. This one will still work. Select, change, select. Okay. Select again. All right. There we go. So here's is our picker image, our picker view. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirers.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products and contribute to the world.